I'm Emily Kaufman, the travel mom, and it's time for another travel talk. I enjoy the city of Chicago so much. There are so many different things to see and do, places to visit, and great entertainment. And today, I'm lucky that my guest is one of those great entertainers. Please welcome Ben Barnes from the Chicago Magic Lounge. Hey, Ben. Hi, Emily. Hi, everybody. So where are you? I am in the Chicago Magic Lounge. I'm in our Pulsa Theater, which we call the 654 Club. It's an intimate space within the theater for 43 people. And uh, right now, it's just me and you. Well, awesome. So yeah. Tell me a little bit about the Chicago Magic Lounge. What can people expect to experience when they visit? Sure. Uh, with Chicago Magic Lounge, uh, in this incarnation, opened in 2018. And what people can expect when they visit is uh, really the spectrum of the history of Chicago magic. Uh, they enter through the laundromat, as you uh, may know, our facade is a laundromat. So unless you know where you're going, you would not necessarily even know that the magic lounge was here. Uh, you come to the laundromat and then you uh, go into our bar, we experience Chicago style bar magic. Uh, which is where Chicago magic had its beginnings. And then throughout the night, you experience the Chicago style close-up magic at your tables, uh, but you also have a stage show. And when that's over, if you're lucky, you get to come into the 654 Club for a formal close-up magic show. So do you consider yourself a magician? Is that the correct word for what you do? That's the correct word for what I do, yes. yes. And how did you get interested in magic? What began your career in magic? Uh, my career in magic, well, what got me interested in magic was when I was a kid, a magician came to my preschool and I just fell in love with magic. You know, being three or four years old, I just fell in love with it. Uh, but when I was about to leave college, I met a magician who was probably the last of the great Chicago close-up magicians. And for the last 20 years of his life, he essentially taught me how to do the job. And that's what really got me started. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So I understand that the Chicago Magic Lounge is doing some virtual magic shows right now. Can you tell a little bit about those? Yeah, yeah. We do our virtual cocktail hours twice a week. We do them on Wednesdays and Fridays for about 30 people, uh, just to keep the feeling intimate. Uh, but you see close up magic through the magic of technology. So our audiences are naturally at home. Uh, when they come into the session, there is a, a person to greet them, our virtual box office manager and seating host. Uh, and then we have four magicians on the bill and they perform small sets about 10 minutes long and it's close up magic. And even though our performers are in their homes and our audience are in their homes, it's very interactive, at least two of the routines in every set requires some type of audience participation. So you really do get to be a part of the magic, even though you're not with us physically. That sounds amazing. I, yeah. I can sign up and try to participate in one of those. So Ben, yeah. Yeah. anyway, you could share something a little bit magical with us right now? I would love to. Will you help me? Sure. Okay. Uh, we're going to play a game. Now, I have a question for you, Emily, and I know the answer already. Do you have a good imagination? Oh, of course. I have a great imagination. <laughs> good. We're going to play a game with your imagination. And the great thing about imagination games is you can't lose. In just a moment, all of your viewers, their jaws are going to hit the floor because of what you're about to do. Okay, cool. Right. <laughs> now, in my pocket, Emily, I have uh, some playing cards. I want you to imagine that I'll tell you uh, at the very start that I have four cards here. I want you to imagine that these four cards are the four queens from a deck of cards. Okay? Okay, I can do now that. Now I want you to imagine, let me just imagine this, that I can take out two queens that are the same color. In your imagination, Emily, did I take out the red ones or the black ones? You took out the red ones. Absolutely right, Emily. You have a great imagination. Good job. Imagine that I can turn one of the red queens face up so that you can see it. And I'll put it back. In your imagination, that you know the Queen of Hearts or the Queen of Diamonds? Hearts. Queen Emily, of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. You're going to love this. Emily, one card is face up, and it is the Queen of Hearts. Wow. 
Now, Emily, and I want you to know this. Through the internet and the computer, you were able to pull off a cool trick. Yeah. And you know what's really cool, Emily? What? This Queen of Hearts comes from a different deck, but also I knew you'd be fabulous, and that's why I didn't even bring the other queens. I knew you'd get it right. Excellent. Wow, jaw on the floor just like <laughs> Good job. So if people want to learn more about, about you and about the Chicago Magic Lounge, where can they find information? They can go to chicagomagiclounge.com. And then if they go, we have a page dedicated to the performers of the Chicago Magic Lounge. You can find out about me as well as all of the performers who work with us. Well, Ben, Chicago has been my home away from home Love for it. the last six years. I come there more often than I visit any other place. And I can't wait to look you up and yes. meet you in person because we will travel again. Yes. And I will be back in Chicago. Love it. Love it. Yes. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Ben. Sure.